Hey yo, what's good everybody? Edubs here with Tris Tech and Electronics, and in today's video I have our full review of Tomb Raider. So here in Tomb Raider we're playing as Laura Croft. She's a young archaeologist looking for some adventure, and uh, boy does she find some adventure here. Uh, they're looking for some lost civilization, and they happen to crash land on this island, the one that they're looking for, of course. And uh, you start out very very vulnerable and kind of scared and you can you get that feeling from there the, the game does a good job of giving you that feeling uh, but as you progress through the story I mean Laura Croft just becomes a badass uh, it is a third person action adventure with some puzzles some stealth stuff and also some climbing traversing uh, and all that combined with a bunch of collectibles throughout the island of Yamatai so these collectibles that we find throughout the map of Yamatai, uh, some of them are actual experience points that go towards Laura's actual skill tree, and in there we have a survival skills, uh, hunter skills, and brawler skills. And in the other one, it's scavenge stuff that we can use toward, towards our gear to upgrade Laura Croft's weapons. So we have like extended magazines, more damage, and even silencers. Along with these weapon upgrades, we also find attachments for Laura Croft's bow. Uh, these attachments are only unlocked through playing through the story as you progress, so that way you can progress further along with the story, and also go back and unlock stuff that you weren't able to get into previously and find more uh, collectibles. The gunplay in this game works very well. Uh, all the guns feel somewhat unique, uh, or you can just use your favorite. I loved using the bow personally. And there, there's also a cover system in this game. Uh, despite there not being a button for cover system, it works very well. You just kind of walk up to a wall, you're in cover, pull the left trigger, and you're out to uh, attack. Let go, you're back in. It, it works very well and fluid. Uh, the melee in here, however, it doesn't work good at all. Uh, it's kind of clunky, and that's disappointing considering in her skill tree, there's a whole section dedicated to brawling. Um, I mean, there's some good stuff in there, I mean, for countering. And there's also some kind of bland executions. There's just about one, maybe two per gun. Uh, I wish they would have kind of drawn that out a little more, but... The puzzle aspects in Tomb Raider were actually really fun. They weren't too hard, they weren't too easy, they felt just right. I mean, you wouldn't find them out right away, but you'd have to kind of go back and forth, try to figure out how to figure them out. Uh, there's a lot of burning in here. Laura Croft's kind of a, a pyro in this game. But uh, by the time you figured out how to deal with the puzzle, it was kind of an aha moment. You're like, oh, there we go. Uh, so those were always really fun and a, and a good aspect to this game. And lastly on here, there's the very disappointing multiplayer. Uh, it just kind of feels very just tacked on, just added on at the end. Some of the controls are a little different from single player, which was very annoying. And uh, the bow and arrow is just extremely overpowered. The game modes, some of them are kind of fun. There's kind of a domination, uh, a scavenger of sorts if you're familiar with Left 4 Dead. Um, and there's deathmatch. Uh, I just, I, I was enjoying free for all, but I would just go to the highest point with my bow and arrow, and it felt cheap. I mean, I one shot kills with the bow, and then I'd protect my ass with the uh, mine. So it was very cheap. Not a lot of people are playing it, and and it's kind of sad for you uh, achievement hunters out there. Uh, you have to prestige three times. So um, good luck, achievement hunters. So overall, I actually do really love this game. I mean, I know I give multiplayer some flack on here, but I do have some friends on there, and I'm, I'm kind of playing it. But um, as far as the story, totally worth playing. I mean, for review purposes, I usually play games on normal, but I'm going back on my own and actually playing this game again on hard. So, I mean, not many games will get me to come back and play it again, especially right after I finished it. Like, I'm already about 20% through on my, my hard playthrough. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a solid rental. I don't think as far as buying it, there's not a much there. I mean, you'll definitely beat the game within your rental period. So, I mean, definitely check this game out. It was a lot of fun. Um, but if you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with us. Until next time, my name's Edubs. Peace. And I just had to add this in here. It's by far one of the most gruesome death scenes of 2013. <laughs>